Purdue students can expect to see a new landmark on campus by the end of the semester. The Boiler Green Initiative recently received a grant to retrofit a section of the roof on Schliemann Hall with vegetation and more efficient tiles in a new green roof project. According to BGI Vice President Amelie Davis, when the club was first formed, it was solely dedicated to implementing green roofs across campus. The section chosen at Schliemann Hall was ideal because the terrace setup was already flat and was accessible to students. Schliemann Hall has a terrace that's big enough, plus it's centrally located, so we thought a lot of students would be here because Schliemann is a hall of student services, you have financial aid, you have a business office for student organizations, so we really felt it was a great location. The roof has many environmentally friendly results. A normal roof repels 99% of all rainwater, and it also contaminates the water before it reaches the sewer. A green roof, on the other hand, repels only 1% of that same water, and it also helps to absorb some of the heat and cold that would normally be absorbed by the building, resulting in lower heating costs. There's a ton of other benefits of green roofs. You get stormwater runoff um, mitigation for um, small to large rainfall events. We, we also have, you have an habitat for insects and possibly some of the roofs that are more isolated, you can even have birds up there. So it's a micro habitat within a highly urban landscape. Like the core of the campus is 72% impervious. So all of a sudden you have this green space and it's got so many benefits. The group is looking to expand the Green Roof Project to other buildings, including the Man Building and Discovery Park, as well as the Horticulture Building. The group has been meeting since January and plans for the Schliemann Green Roof to be finished by the end of April. BGI plans on using the remaining grant money to monitor the exact effect the roof has had on the building. People can walk around on the terrace like it is right now and there will also be picnic tables and benches so it's a usable space and an inviting space.